Suffolk County District Attorney says the valet who was shot in the head outside Brigham and Women's Hospital earlier this month was hit by a Boston police officer's bullet. WBZ's Mike LaCrosse is live in Boston tonight with more on this story. Now, Mike. Lisa, the valet is recovering from an injury to his eye. The DA says they're looking into the possibility that the bullet from the officer's gun ricocheted off something and hit him. Today, they also released surveillance video from this corner here behind me from the morning of the incident. As you saw in this, this video, things happen within a matter of seconds. Surveillance video from outside Brigham and Women's Hospital shows an officer responding to a report of a man with a gun. Suffolk County DA Rachel Rollins says the suspect in the video from the morning of February 7th is just in Root. He was later shot and killed by police. Within seconds, Mr. Root removed his own weapon, pointed it at officer number one, and began to pull the trigger of that weapon. According to the DA, the gun later found near Root was a fake. We can therefore determine that the valet was struck by a bullet discharged by a Boston police officer. The hospital valet is out of the hospital and recovering from an eye injury. The DA says she wants to be as transparent as possible with this officer-involved shooting investigation. I did speak with the valet this morning, and um, I'm just grateful that he's alive and he's in good spirits. The DA says the investigation is ongoing and could take several more months. Reporting live in Boston, I'm Mike LaCrosse, WBC News.